Uh, the question now is that part two stand part. This is a debate on clauses 64 to 66 and schedules one and two. Ian Lees Galloway. Thank you very much, Mr Chair. Uh, part two uh, relates to the application savings transitional and consequential provisions of uh, this bill, reasonably technical in nature, uh, but it does include um, the insertion uh, of, of new schedules, schedule one and two in this uh, bill, um, and, and schedule one uh, will ultimately become uh, schedule one AA uh, in the um, uh, in the Act uh, once it is amended by this legislation. And uh, Clause 2 of the uh, Schedule 1AA uh, relates to amendments to Part um, 5 of the, of the Principal Act uh, which relate to collective bargaining. And, it, and what, it, what uh, Clause 2.2 uh, two, two says uh, in this Schedule 1AA is that the amended Section 33 which, uh, of, the, of the Principal Act, which was amended by Section 9 of this Bill, will apply to all bargaining, whether the bargaining commenced before, on or after the commencement of this Amendment Act. And this is a genuine question to the Minister. Why is this legislation being applied retrospectively? And because for those who have forgotten, and it has been a while since we talked about uh, Section 9 or Clause 9 of this legislation, Clause 9 refers to the duty of good faith requiring parties to conclude collective agreements unless there was genuine reason not to, which of course was amended to uh, the duty of good faith does not require collective agreements to be concluded. So the sum total of these clauses combined is that collective bargaining which is already underway, which started before this legislation is enacted, will be subject to this legislation. So employers and unions who went into bar collective bargaining in good faith with one another, and, and particularly the unions who went into bargaining in good faith, now face the prospect of this legislation applying to bargaining which started under the current legislation. In other words, Mr Chair, I regret that I have to interrupt the member because the time has come for me to report progress. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Speaker, uh, the committee has considered the Employment Relations Amendments Bill and reports progress. The committee has also considered the Accounting Infrastructure Reform Bill and reports no progress. The question is that the report be adopted. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. The Employment Relations Amendment Bill is, down, is set down for further consideration in committee next sitting day. The Accounting Infrastructure Reform Bill is set down for consideration in committee next sitting day. The House stands adjourned until 2pm tomorrow. <laughs>